Good morning. Glad you can join us again today. Uh, we're at uh, Proverbs chapter 7, May 7th, and uh, I'm going to start right at verse 1. And it says this, My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers and write them on the tablet of your heart. And so he begins by encouraging us that we are to take the commands and the teachings of God so important that we would protect it as the apple of our eye. Now that phrase, apple of the eye, really is referring to just that the pupil of our eye, the very sensitive part uh, that's also very protected by uh, our bodies. Uh, have you ever had like a fly or something or bug come towards your eye? There's always this instinct to, you know, bat it away and close our eyelids and, and, you know, quickly react to it because it's a very sensitive part of our bodies. And so Solomon, the writer of this proverb, is really trying to emphasize how important God's word is to us, how important his teachings and commands are. Uh, they're our very life. And I want to pick up on this idea of the apple of his eye. And Psalm chapter 17, in the book of Psalms, chapter 17, verse 6 through 9, uh, the psalmist is writing this, and he says, I call on you, O my God, for you answer me. Uh, turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Show me the wonders of your great love, you who save by your right hand and those who take refuge in you from their foes. And then he says in verse 8, this same phrase, Keep me as the apple of your eye, O God. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who are out to destroy me, from my mortal enemies who surround me. It's interesting, this word apple of the eye, this phrase in the Hebrew, uh, it's literally the word is ishan, ishan, which literally means, if you were to translate this from Hebrew into exact English, the little man of the eye. The little man of the eye. What that's referring to is, have you ever gotten really close to somebody uh, and look into their eyes and sometimes you can see uh, you, the reflection of you in their eye, you can see that reflection? That's what this phrase is in Hebrew. It's this reflection that uh, we reflect in somebody else's pupil. And so when God says, you know, I'm, you are the apple of my eye, it means we are most cherished by him that his care and protection for us never diminishes over time, that he holds you and I close to him, even in the hardest of times. And he does this because of the love of Christ, that Christ came to this earth to die for us and to make us children of God, to make us right with God. And so he protects us that way. It's this parental protection and love for us. Um, that is really quite eye-opening. And you think about it. We are loved and cherished by God as the apple of his eye. And so he in turn in this Proverbs chapter 7, where he talks about guarding his word, his commands in our life, that we are to protect that in our lives because it is the most valuable thing. God's word. Us living out that word is so valuable to God and to us. Because when we do that, we will be in this relationship with the Father that is amazing. And God will guide us and guard us. And a lot of Psalms and Proverbs talk about how his word is a lamp to our, a lamp to our eyes, a lamp to our feet, and, and that his ways um, you know, never end. And so the, the instruction to us is to guard that. And so let me pray for you today. Father, help us to be people who read your word daily, who guard your teachings in our lives, who so value the Bible and what you teach us, God, that we memorize it, we study it, we live by it. So help us to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys.